It's a microloan with interest-free microloan that allows individuals fleeing sorts of gender-based violence, domestic violence, to have a little bit of money that can help them with first and last rent, first and last month's rent, that can help them with arrears, that can help them with moving costs. So the the point of the December 6th fund is to help individuals leave and stay left, stay gone, so to speak. The impact of the December 6th fund locally, in my experience, is for the individuals seeking the loans is that the is accessing housing as soon as it becomes available. And one of the biggest deterrents that we found locally is that individuals leaving situations of gender-based violence, um, their biggest challenge is housing and financial stability. And as we know, uh, housing is scarce all over Ontario. And so when someone is able to find a place to live, um, the December 6th loan is integral to getting them moved in as quickly as possible and creating some stability. We try to respond as quickly as possible in order to ensure they do not miss the housing opportunity. And it may also mean that it relieves some of the stress of financial arrears, which we know is um, very common for people leaving their home situation. And typically our hydro heating costs, getting furniture in their new home so that they can feel more settled and stable. And then also what we've found out is that leaving a situation of violence in itself is not enough, although the most important factor, but the next thing is to ensure that it is sustainable. So the individual feels that they can continue to stay apart from the situation that they've left. And then one more um, thing I think impact that I think it's important to mention is the wraparound supports that we offer once they have secured the loan. Uh, many of the um, recipients have attended our women's programs such as Women's Wellness or Women Thriving. And these programs are intended to support women or gender diverse indi individuals going through transitions. So that could be underemployed, empty nesting, leaving situations of violence, moving from dependency on others to creating their own agency and determination. And also the poverty reduction programs that we offer Getting Ahead in Circles Muskoka, which helps them create a network of other individuals looking to get ahead and allies throughout the Muskoka community. And so I think with these supports that it can just decrease their feeling of isolation and help them to feel that they're not alone. To me, that's a really important question because it will make it more accessible. It will make it more well-known. Um, if someone sees it advertised nationally or provincially, they may decide to look locally and find out more. I think that's a really important aspect. And it may be the impetus that an individual needs to make the next move. And another thing that I think is really important is that it will enable the agencies working in this field to reach more individuals and partner agencies Many of our referrals come from partner agencies who are working on um, gender-based front lines, gender-based violence pre prevention front lines and response and relationship and building and maintenance with community level partners and consistent messaging is vital in order for the success and sustainability of this program. As a mother of four daughters and of four granddaughters and two grandsons, I feel that it's really important to identify the gaps and to help lift up women and children and youth and to identify where those gaps are and to help support an individual's journey, whatever that looks like and whatever um, by whatever means we can to support individuals and, and to create equity, which is still not happening. So it's really important to me, and I'm so proud to be part of the YWCA movement.